And Leah, like millions of others, you're also following this. Right, well, it's really quite fun to follow because there is so much hype, like Andy was saying. It's like New Year's or a major festival in the United States. And millions, of course, are also talking about it online. The most popular tweet is from US astronaut Buzz Aldrin, who, sa who spent many days in space. He tweeted this, saying, it occurred to me that I got to see quite a few solar eclipses every time we orbited into the shadow of the moon. Now, others are making fun of the eclipse chasers, as some people are calling them. Them and their sunglasses here, making fun of it with a pack of gum called Eclipse Gum. For those who didn't get the NASA sunglasses though, NASA posted this tutorial about how to make a pair out of a cereal box. But a coffee shop in Oregon is recalling Eclipse glasses that they handed out to customers after they found out that they were defective. If you have a pair, be sure they don't have any scratches on them or you could actually hurt your eyes. Now, millions of others are driving hours into the zone of totality or total darkness. This line that you see going across the United States here. We caught up with one couple driving 10 hours all the way from Florida to South Carolina. Full disclosure, these are my parents. And we have a box to view the eclipse through and millions of other people apparently are doing the same thing, but we're taking the trip up there to see this once of a lifetime experience. The traffic I know is gonna be terrible, but it's gonna be worth it. We've got our beach chairs in the back of the car so we can sit down and got a cooler with us and just enjoy the stars in the daytime during that one minute and 60, 30 seconds of darkness. We'll let you know what it's like. Happy eclipsing. I posted more videos about the rest of their journey on my Twitter page if you want to have a look. Now, because so many people, like my parents, are expected to take pictures of the eclipse, the University of California, Berkeley, and Google teamed up to help scientists study the phenomenon. We've got about a thousand serious photographers taking good quality images of the sun, and anyone else who wants to contribute can do so as well. By having many images of the corona over the course of an hour and a half, we'll be able to examine the changing structure of the corona. And that's important because the satellites orbiting Earth right now can't monitor changes in the inner corona for technical reasons, but from the ground we can. Nowhere else in the solar system is that the case. So if aliens were to visit our solar system, I claim they should visit Earth at the time and location of a total solar eclipse, and they would leave very happy. NASA even released a tutorial on how to protect your phone lens since it is expected to be one of the most photographed events ever in history and because it could damage your camera. But their last tip on their website is to just put your phone down and to see it with your own eyes. Now, if you're on the journey to see the eclipse like my parents or the millions of others, be sure to send us a video. We'd love to hear from you. You can tweet me directly at Leah Harding AJE or you could use the hashtag AJNewsGrid.